first appointed at Toastmaster, the Asian government and Toastmasters. A few months ago, my wife complained to me that the brakes of the car must be malfunctioning. I'm not a person who drives the car, but malfunctioning brakes is man's job. So I drove the car to Tilan Motors, where all the university vehicles are repaired. I went there, and these good people did a thorough examination of the car and found out 1,001 problems in the car, of course. And they looked at the brakes also and told me that your high rods have to be replaced. In a car, ladies and gentlemen, we have an important system called the steering system. Each one of you who has ever stepped onto the driving seat of the car would have meddled with this device called the steering wheel. Now the steering wheel gets connected to the steering rack as you see in the slides, to the steering shaft. Now when you turn the steering wheel, the gear wheel called the pinion rotates. When the pinion rotates, the rack would laterally move. The lateral motion of the rack would actually turn the wheels in and out, which gives you the steering action. So I always thought that there is a problem with the pinion of my car, of which Dr. Dhyadu Samarim from a behavior tree disagrees and says there is no problem with the pinion of your car because the steering wheel of my car gives a creaky sound when I try to steer. Seldom. Now you must be wondering if the steering is like this, our lives would be really hard because there is no power into the steering. So how would we impart power into the steering? By fixing a hydraulic pump on the same steering mechanism. And using a two-way valve, as you can see, to pump oil, or as you popularly call it, the steering oil, in either direction, depending on the way you turn your uh, steering wheel. Now set aside all these things. What is important is the device that actually connects the steering rack to your actual wheels. You see, wheels go up and down when you move the car. Shock absorbers are there to compensate that motion. And your steering device must be connected to these wheels which go up and down. On the other hand, your wheels must be able to turn. So the devices that connect the steering rack to the wheels are actually called the irons. Actually, in Sri Lanka, people call them rack ends. Actually, it is the end of the high road that these people are talking This, ladies and gentlemen, is a high road. Actually, it is the actual high road removed from my car. I have put that in uh, an envelope so that you will not dirt your hands. <laughs> now, the problem with these tie roads is the Sri Lankan roads give lot of work to the actual ends of the tie. The ends of the tie road are special. Is that so? So it's like technology can always stop it. You see here. The two types of tie rods, the inner tie rods and the outer tie rods. Both of these have a so called ball joint to accommodate this motion. Now, since the ball joints are able to rotate in many given directions and in many degrees of freedom, actually, not many degrees of freedom, but three degrees of freedom, the wear and tear is slightly higher. So to compensate for the wear and tear, you actually lubricate these ball joints. 
But unfortunately, two things can happen. When the time passes by, anyways, even if there is duplication, the inner surface of the cavity and the wall joint, wall is going to wear. On the other hand, when actually the so-called boot is broken, it is made out of rubber, the dust is going to go in to the wall joint. That again will wear out the lactics. So what happens is you will have a play inside your lactics. So whenever you get your tires replaced, you will get a free wheel alignment. The tire replacement man will replace the tires and tell you, sir, your car's wheels cannot be aligned. So can't you be? So you would think, oh, this man is lying to me because he does not want to give me the free wheel alignment. Actually, the problem is with the worn out practice. So what does this mean? When your car steering wheel is blocked, there must be no in and out motion in your wheels. If there is, that signifies a worn out bracket. So how would you really check uh, for such a, a problem? You carefully look at the, and do you carefully look at the wall joint? Actually you cannot look at it, but there is one place that you can do. You put the car on the hoist. I'm very sorry. your car on the hoist and try to give an in and out motion to your wheel. And if that moves, that means your rack gates are damaged. If it does not move, that means your rack gates are good. Your wheels can be alive. So ladies and gentlemen, to have a safe ride, you must have your good rack properly checked out. I wish you a good ride for yourself.